basketball. Central Region Championship. The winning team is Minnesota State by a final score of 43-42 over Northwest Missouri State. We're joined in the postgame by head coach Matt Margenthaler, junior guard Tyrese Willingham, and graduate guard Elijah Hayescamp. Thank you for joining us, guys. Um, we'll start with an opening statement from the head coach, Matt Margenthaler, who's moving on to the Elite Eight, and then we'll take questions from the media. If you could please identify yourself and the organization that you're with before asking the question, that would be much appreciated. Go ahead, please. Um, I, well, uh, congratulate Northwest Missouri on, on I mean, their program is, is, is standard that all Division II basketball programs want to be. And um, for us to go through them, Again, we, we talked about this uh, all week long and all year long. Our, this region is the best region in the nation. We're going to prove that, um, you know, and, and we have proved it time and time again. Northwest has, has done their job, so it's now time for somebody else to, to step up and, and do the job at the Elite Eight. But um, what an absolute electric environment tonight. I, I, in my 23 years, I, I never thought I'd see a, a gym like that. Um, I really didn't. And it was, it was electric. It was standing room only. Um, again, it's what I, and, you know, Malik and Kai and, and, and uh, Eli, everyone just saying, Coach, this is what you told us. This is what you told us. This is what you told us in the recruiting process. And and, um, it, and we're recruiting a lot of kids right now. So this was, it's like this every single night, guys. Every night. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in the portal, this is where it's at. Um, but, uh, but we've got uh, we've got a great great group of basketball players here that that and I've said I've, I've used the word selfless a lot this year, but this is a selfless team. I mean Elijah Hayes Camp um, knocks down one shot. It's a pretty dang important shot tonight um, to make, but he knocks down one shot and, and just didn't have his, his rhythm with him. But um, nobody else I'd, again I'd want. I mean we have such high quality uh, caliber offensive guys that we even at halftime scoring 17 points we knew we'd break out of that at some point. Now we never, I mean, I think I was told tonight this is the lowest point total in my career that I've ever won a game with, which was about 43 points tonight. Um, we're, we're used to having that halftime. So, I mean, Northwest did a great job of, of being physical with us. But I tell you, you look at the stat sheet, we were the most physical team in the second half. We held them to 28% shooting. We guarded our tails off tonight, and we rebounded the basketball tonight. And um, that's what you have to do. Uh, to be able to win and beat a team as good as Northwest. And, and I thought that, uh, you know, we, st we talked as a staff late. Do we call timeout? Do we not with the five seconds? And, and we, weren't, we didn't want to call timeout because we, we, they would get Biddy set up. And that we, we've never to have called timeout. So we're not going to do anything differently than, than we've done in the past. And um, thank gosh Elijah knocked down that shot. Yeah. And, 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 and I, mean, I mean, what do you say? It's, 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 I'll, I'll wake up tomorrow maybe and pinch myself. But it's, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah, so I mean, he missed the free throw, and then the whole time I was uh, kind of counting on Malik, or Kai, or Justin to take that last shot because that's who we'd want it in the hands of. And then I think they sent two or three guys at Malik. He found me, and right when I shot it, it felt really good, which none of the first six or seven <laughs> shots felt good. So I'm glad that one did. And then after that, it was, it was a pretty special moment for me. You know, sixth year, and just to cap it off with that was, it, it's crazy. It was just crazy. Chad Curry, the free press, thank you. Did you lose a little bit of control of the ball? Because I'm watching, I'm trying to video it. It looked like you kind of one-handed a little bit. Um, well, I didn't know how much time was left, so I was just trying to shoot it quick. And I work on, like, uh, shooting it, like, off a high release. Like, they get, these guys see it all the time. And... I haven't really done it all year, and then, I mean, what a moment to have it, like, work. John Harrington, Radio Man, Cato. Tyrese, how tough is it to play against a team that runs that clock down every trip down that really keeps you out of your momentum that you like to run? <coughs> yeah, so Coach pretty much just told us that we knew that coming in, they were going to try to slow it down, and one of the top teams in the nation mm -hmm. at pace is playing their pace, slow pace, so we just knew we were going to be disciplined for 40. And, man, the boys showed it tonight. We were disciplined for 40, I'd say, and we locked down on defense, and then the offense was, was there. But it was an amazing environment out there tonight. Do you think maybe all the energy you guys had to spend defending affected maybe the shooting percentage a little bit? I would say no. 
They were hard fought teams, so it's, we were in, we had we had good shots. They just weren't dropping the night every day. Shots can't drop every night, so to, they had to find other ways to win. So just doubling down and getting stops on defense. We knew they like they can't score with us, so just getting stops on defense is what we pride ourselves in, and get out because we'll score the ball. Nobody's worried about our offense. Just get stops, and the offense <laughs> will come. Yeah, I thought they sped us up, Chad. I mean, early they sped us up, just being so physical, you know. And I thought that 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 uh, that hurt us. Early. And I thought we. Um, I, I thought we t had some quality possessions in the first half, but uh, our shot, I think we were taking we were really quick. You know, not, not a quick shot, but a quick pace on the shot. And so I thought that their physicality and, and their, uh, it really got us uh, out of our rhythm. And we just needed to settle in. I thought we did that uh, really <coughs> well in the second half. Hey, Matt, do they always play that way? Or they, they do. Do they grind you? They grind you. Man, they grind you yeah, all the time. And then, I mean, it's, it's – uh, you know, that's their style. I mean, it's, it's two different styles. We, we don't want to play like that. They do. That's, they've been successful doing that. Um, I, I couldn't I, – I wouldn't even want to coach that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I just – I wouldn't. That, that's not no, fun for me. Tell the no. truth. That's, I'm just telling the truth. I know you wouldn't be here if I could play that way. Nope. I wouldn't have came here. <laughs> That's it. I, obviously, it's frustrating, but we're a veteran team, so every, every, each and every one of us has been in situations like this before. So we're a veteran team, and we're just so close as a team. It's just like we all stay composed with each other. Like we we'll get on each other, but it's like everybody stays composed with each other when times get tough, and that's just how we fight through adversity like that. And then we get through the tough times during the game. It's just stay with each other. Like every next possession, that's be confident, head up. That's what we say. Coach Margaret there was frustrated. <laughs> he, I was frustrated because we, we had some we had some really good opportunities late, and we turned that sucker yeah. over. And then you got you got to value those possessions more. Than we did, and, and uh, we, we were very fortunate to get out tonight. Coach, uh, oh, John Dykes for a minute ago for him. Um, they took away Malik. Um, yep. He struggled tonight, but defensively, I thought he was outstanding. He took away Mascari, and he didn't hit a shot until the very end there. So. What yeah. can you say about Malik, even though the shot wasn't going to him? Yeah, I thought that he uh, did what he needed to do to help us win this basketball game, no question. And, and Malik's done that all year long at the score on defending, whatever it is. And, and, you know, we really made him a screener in the second half because I thought that we needed to do get him off the ball a little bit because they, they were so physical with him. And uh, they bothered him, there's no question. They did a great job of guarding him. But our, our, our game plan was to not allow them to beat us from three. Because 57% of their offense is a, either a three or a, a layup. And so, and, and then we know their pace is one of the slowest paces in, in college basketball. So we had to be very, very disciplined. And I thought our guys did a heck of a job of that tonight.